This is FFPÖ, your primary source for Austrian film and TV critique, where two minds come together to take apart the work of people who actually matter. Welcome back to a new episode of FFP. My name is Paul and I am always the man behind the mic, the man who tries to get some information out there about Austrian movies and I'm really floundering for uh, some kind of thing but let's just go ahead it's the 11th of March 2017 and we are recording the 30th episode kind of a little anniversary 30 episodes of FFP and we have a very special guest today it is Azar. <laughs> Hi Azar. Hi. Nice nice to have you here. Thank, thank you. Thanks thank you. for having me. Oh, it's it's been a pleasure so far. Like <laughs> um yeah, just tell the people a little bit about you and why you're here. <laughs> well, uh, I don't I know. A, because I was an obnoxious <laughs> stick on Facebook. Like, you want to do my podcast? Can't <laughs> Hey, two weeks later. Hey, you want to do my podcast? Like, we haven't really checked in on that. Two, months, two weeks later. Hey, you want to still do my podcast? <laughs> no, that was cool. But when you asked me, that was really good. Like, I did comedy once. And mm -hmm. after my set, you came to me. I'm like, do you want to do my podcast? I was like, I'm not a comedian. It's like, yeah. I know, but you're a female. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And you're kind of funny. <laughs> Yeah. And you speak English. I'm yeah. like, really? That's enough to get yeah. on your <laughs> on FFP? Definitely. That's like the three <laughs> most important things. It's a bonus if you know German. That way I can show you stuff that other people who don't understand the intricacies of the Austrian language um, can do. But otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. And this movie, like, the most... The, you didn't know have to know, like, any German. <laughs> Any, yeah. any German, like all the joke. It's an it's an American movie. It's a Disney movie. Uh, to be fair, I know some German. I'm doing Bets Why now. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, sehr gut. Sehr I'm totally gut. not at the Bets Why level, but I <laughs> <laughs> somehow passed yeah, yeah. the test. Just try it. Try try to go for it. Sure. Yeah, yeah. it's it's uh, the German language is no small feat to master. Oh uh, come on! It's it's, it's so not. <laughs> it's not. It's not an easy language, especially if you consider the nuance. Oh, don't with, say that. It's the, just so easy. Yeah, it's so, so easy. easy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why you wrote all, all your notes out in, in <laughs> German, right? Not yeah. in a mixture of, of... What was it? Persian and English. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, so... Um, yeah, and we watched... We, what, what did we watch? Uh, the Schwarze Lach. The Schwarze Loch. Nicht Loch. Lach would okay, be the, Loch. Lach would be the, <laughs> the black laugh. Yeah. The black laugh. And that would be way more racist, I think, than the black hole. Yeah, yeah but it is a 1979 um, American-made Disney movie, science fiction movie. I don't know. Is it a, is it a comedy? Mystery? Suspense. I don't know what genre, except for sci-fi, I have to put it in. It's it's a definitely really not a comedy. Just there were the, some jokes the, in there. Yeah, there were some like jokes in there. <laughs> bad <laughs> jokes. But yeah, there no, were some bad jokes. Definitely sci-fi. Definitely sci-fi. Yeah. Just I don't know any what other. Else? <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> maybe maybe I don't know. One Action of those. a little bit. No, I don't know. Road trip. <laughs> no, no. A space it's road sci fi. Let's it's just a, agree on space, that. Like. It's a space road trip movie. Like Star Trek is a road trip movie. But even for a road trip, they didn't trip that much. Yeah. <laughs> well, like they trip that. hard at the end. <laughs> yeah, that like, was. But that to, we're going to, to get to that later. Yeah. First of all, let's move on to the first segment of the show, and that is plots. All right, so. Yeah. There's not much plot here, I think. Like, oh my god, don't be get because me it's, even. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's all about a spaceship discovers another spaceship that's apparently stuck in front of a black hole, um, which was missing for 20 years. Yeah. And then they bought the, sh uh, the, the, the ship after a 
really cool action sequence. Yeah. Where, where they nearly sacrificed the coolest character, <laughs> Vincent. Yeah. And Vincent the robot. And then they bought the ship and then mystery ensues. <laughs> yeah. And there is some small backstory about... Oh, yeah. Yes. We're going to get to that, but, I guess. Yeah. But very thin backstory. Yeah, like... The backstory is as thin as it can be. Not <laughs> much of a story, just a couple they, they of give sentences. minimal <laughs> exposition about the characters, what they do. Like, for the half of the movie, I couldn't figure out who is the scientist, who is the technician, <laughs> who is the, even the captain on this fucking ship. What's the relationship between them? Yes, like, what is the woman doing there? Because apparently her only thing is to talk to the robot over mind sky, basically. Yeah, with no feeling in her face. Like, no feeling nothing. at all, except for for horror at one point but other than that she was like nah I'm chill I'm she's take- just really she's like cool about all these maybe, shits maybe, happening around maybe, her maybe she's on some anti- really strong antidepressants like she was stuck in a metal tube with she, four her dudes her face kind of reminds me of someone that tries a new drug mm-hmm. like uh, like mushrooms and they're oh, like yeah. holy sh- and they have no idea what the fuck's happening yeah. and we're already they're drifting like- off like on <laughs> mushrooms because we have to stick to the fucking plot alright <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I have to keep this ship on a clear course. Yeah, let's do um, that. In, except for not like this movie, which does like two one eighties. Yeah. In, exactly. in in that, like um, okay, so they 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 find out that the, through some really cool graphic that the ship is the USS uh, Cygnus. Yeah. Something like that. C Y G N U S. Yeah, Cygnus. and they it's just a, it's a star constellation. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah. So it's a really big ship that was intended to do like a Star Trek esque voyage to find new habitable planets for humans, mm-hmm. but it went missing twenty years ago yeah. or something like that, and now the I guess USS Palomino or just the Palomino. I don't they know. They don't why. have American insignia, so I'm guessing they're not American. I feel like I didn't got any more of the plot than you, so uh, yeah. Okay, just I'm asking <laughs> the wrong person. <laughs> we, we need a third person. Let's yeah. go back, watch it with my roommate, and he's going to explain to us what's <laughs> happening. No, okay, so the USS Palomino finds the USS Cygnus mm-hmm. in this weird middle field between the black hole and normal space yeah. and they try to board it well they try to they just want to check it out I, I, I really it was just really it. fast they just suddenly in the oh, yeah, beginning that, of that the movie decided the first let's minutes. go there yeah, it, it was just happened. basically that's the explanation oh, oh see that let's go yeah. there just yeah there was no discussion they check, they check on the ship and then they get they push a little bit too far in the direction of the black hole yeah. and they get captured by the force and while they try to escape from the force which there was no reason for that in the plot nope. whatsoever nope. just to they add some land, action they could have just landed yeah yeah or they could have damaged the ship otherwise like with those meteorites that they showed at the, up at the beginning of the movie so it would fucking make sense yeah. when they show up at the end of the fucking movie <laughs> why are those meteorites they're like out of fucking nowhere. It was just to add some excitement the beginning yeah, of the, the movie. Yeah, but the should like have this. picked it up yeah. with anything. Yeah. Like, meteorites is one of the most... Like, I, I'm a bit uh, into space. Yeah. A bit. Just not... I, I watch a little bit of Star Talk and okay. stuff like that. So, li- not a little bit. Meteorites is one of the most dangerous things for a spaceship because yeah. they can move at such incredible speeds that they just pulverize your ship yeah. even if it's a really small fragment only yeah. so <sighs> not having a countermeasure to that or even like a warning system that you like have to alter your course or anything is just baffling to me there's no explanation for that yeah it was yeah, just, so yeah. so they push the ship too far into the into the warm hole uh, in the black hole they get a little bit captured they, sh- they they make it back but the ship is damaged so they land on the bigger USS Cygnus yeah and get captured I yeah guess? like they get captured and they 
they just transferred to the inside on a yes. thingy that like <laughs> on a roller yes. coaster thingy. Why is that, that built outside of the ship, <laughs> by the way? Exactly. Why, is, why is this outside of the ship? Only because of the nice view. This was only built so they were Actually, like... Actually, you mentioned something really important for the nice view. I wanted <laughs> yeah. to say this in the cinematography part. Yes, but okay, yeah. Let's it has it something to do with plot okay, too. Okay, yeah, then let's go for it. The yeah. thing is that lots of times, I think in the plot, yeah. like it was totally just changed for the sake of the view, for the sake of the shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know they what just I mean? moved like, from one part of the scenery to the next. Yeah, there's just something just like, happened. Look at all this cool stuff yeah. that we've built. <laughs> Look at this humongous ship. <laughs> this ship is like guys, okay, to like it is like Star Trek Enterprise E levels. Yeah. Huge. Like hundreds and hundreds of people apparently can live there. Yeah. Or even thousands maybe. This yeah. is a the, the the other one, the the, the, the the Palomino, that one that landed on the Cygnus is only five people? Yeah, this robot? is hardly like five of them were sitting like... Wait, uh, is it five? Let's check. We have the old dude, we have the scientist, we have the young scientist, yeah. we have the girl, and we have the captain. Yeah, ah, five. Five, yeah, five. Yeah, yeah. And the robot. The so, robot. So is, but the robot was like not sitting. It was yeah, like he's on, hovering. Up there, yeah, hovering. Yeah, Yeah, apparently they have anti-gravitation, anti-gravitational uh, Hovering forces system. like they can have generators that can generate it but they can't generate a force field apparently on their own ship to normally stand uh, yeah yeah they they can, that's... also gravity doesn't really apply in this whole movie <laughs> Just... gravity really fucks with there is this mysterious anti-hovering thingy anti-gravity force that yes. we don't know exactly how, how it, it is how it works it's just why sometimes there, it applies why sometimes isn't it, not. why isn't there a backpack for humans so they can hover <laughs> Why is it exclusively for the robots? Yeah. It doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. Or maybe like, you know, it's like Apple or something like that. Like only they produce it and yeah. only they produce those robots. <laughs> and they're like, no, we don't give away. We have a patent on that technology. So nobody gets the backpacks. Yeah, maybe something like that. I don't know. God, <laughs> no, I, there are lots of questions in this movie. Like, a lot of just... questions. This, qu this, movie, this movie causes more mysteries than it solves yeah exactly well it solves like, all the mysteries by blowing everything up and he said this is a Disney movie so like very young children why like, is no, this a Disney movie though I, I it have doesn't no make idea. any sense that this would it's be a Disney movie it's not that like Disney like for children-y yeah because it has this some could really be a hardcore hard rated R rated movie and it had some creepy plots like creepy yeah. scenes for kids and yeah. then at the same time yeah. it was Thousands of so not enslaved. good for like yeah. grown-ups like yeah. what oh, the hell movie. was happening oh like. this movie oh. oh we were dragged into a black hole there yeah, yeah. <laughs> boom exactly. first real pun of the night minute 15 mark it guys um or minute 13 um so <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, so they bought the ship to get captured by butt robots. Yeah, well... Or uh, those drones. Sentin yeah. Sentry drones, I think, are they called later on uh, in the They movie? looked so much like stormtroopers that I was yeah, like... Red, yeah, red, totally. Red, red stormtroopers. Yeah, so, yeah, totally. So that we're not getting sued by the, <laughs> by, by the Star Wars franchise to paint them red. <laughs> Let's because make them red. there were like weird mishmash of Star Wars, uh, like a Darth Vader type thing and a stormtrooper. I think the costume designer liked the color red. Like yes. with the red yes. suit and the red yes. robots like. right there was a red suit later on <laughs> like, right. that was so Reinhardt. Reinhardt. <laughs> Reinhardt Hans 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 we have to talk about a soup later yeah like, yes that's yes really definitely definitely oh oh no no question <laughs> no questions asked this is that's why we're even okay we even didn't even mention why we're doing this on FF2 <laughs> it's an American Disney movie okay so first build on IMDb on Probably the best actor in the whole movie, next to the robots, yeah, is Maximilian Schell, an Austrian uh, who actually won an Oscar. 
Not for wow. this movie. Not ah, for, oh not my for god! This movie. Not for this movie. <laughs> if, his his if, his acting was better than anybody else's. If this, in this guy, movie. <laughs> I knew that this guy won Oscar based on this movie. <laughs> I'd be on my way to Hollywood yeah. right now. Like I couldn't, like because of Trump, but I would try, yeah, you, you, try to you get in the country. You definitely don't get it. <laughs> yeah. A woman who also speaks a la 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 language. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, so, so um, yeah, that's why we we even covered this movie because there's an Austrian in it in a very prominent role as the main villain, and yeah, yeah they get escorted to him. Um, his name is, as we already spoiled, is Hans Hein ha Hans Heinhardt. Hans Heinhardt. No, Hans Reinhardt. Hans Reinhardt. Captain Cap Reinhardt. Captain Reinhardt, who. Um, was the original uh, captain of the ship, yeah. but apparently he had to uh, had his crew. Up. That's at least what he tells the yeah. other people. Like, okay, we don't. It's a fifty-year-old movie. <laughs> we can spot forty forty-year-old movie. It's a forty-year-old movie. We can spot that that he's the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like so. <laughs> And also because we don't have all day. <laughs> and there's this important thing that the woman's father was kind of like, ship. yeah, on the, on the ship. As the head engineer. Yeah, some some important post, yeah. like not just the normal yes. crew, yeah. And he was friends with this Captain Reinhardt. 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 Yeah, exactly. Just, just yell it in an angry German yeah. voice and then it comes out smoothly. Yeah. Reinhardt. <laughs> and yeah. Captain Reinhardt yeah. <laughs> referred to him as a very yes, loyal put it into friend. Me, Reinhardt. Mm. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> And so Captain Reinhardt referred to him as like the most loyal friend and like yes. the person on the ship, yeah. something like that. Yeah. yeah. Again, which really, really makes me think that Max is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. McLean? McKean? So introduce Max. Oh, yes. It was Max. Yes, Max is introduced like in the next scene, basically. Oh, okay. they, they talk to Reinhardt. He tells them that the ship was abandoned and he stayed behind because important discoveries were to be made also <laughs> that guy looks like captain ahab on a lot of meth just so <laughs> you have a picture or uh, other drugs like methamphetamines for sure he could he win the intense. oscar for the most like creepiest look oh though. yeah yeah like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. He, he creeped on everybody just the look I'm, I'm gonna fuck everyone yes. look yeah, the, I'm stranded on a on a on a on a on a on a spaceship with nobody to fuck for twenty years. Of Twenty-five course. Earth years. Yes, they mentioned that it's much longer in the space, so God knows yeah. what's he done. Again, like. why, but that would mean that he would age even further, so he shouldn't be. Well, I guess if he was. When do you get a captain po post? That's like with forty. We are very much in the future, so yeah. humans probably get way, o way older than than they are now. So let's just say two hundred years. Yeah. Okay, so let's say he hovered there for a hundred years or something like that. But I have a very important question. Yes. The time when, like, someone on, on the Earth doesn't age, and like, it, it's the famous example that they say that their twin is in the space and yes. is moving yes. with the speed of light. Yes. He wouldn't. So. No, no, because okay, so he would. Why didn't he okay, age? Okay, he should. Mm. Like, I think he Reinhardt did age. I think he was like in his 40s probably. Yeah, but they said that you were alone here 25 years just with these people. And is that 25 Earth years? Yes. Okay, but so... They're not yeah, moving for, with this. For Earth, of it was 25 years. But for him, it was like 100, maybe. Yeah, but why? Because he's close to the gravitational pull of the, that could be of somebody, the black hole. Like the knowledge is that when you 
move with the speed of light, then you wouldn't age. Or, the, or just that he, he meant that being alone in space feels longer. No, 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 I don't think that. I think it was a like scientific reference, but I didn't... I don't know. This movie, from what I this read, movie doesn't <laughs> answer those questions. None of those questions get answered in this movie. None well, of maybe them. my knowledge like, this is movie not right, but from what yeah. I've read, it was something like that. So the crew... <laughs> Most of them, at least, get very suspicious of, of Reinhardt and start snooping around. Yeah. They find out that basically Reinhardt built uh, a huge, uh, a few, a huge uh, army of sentry robots that basically keep the sh keep the ship afloat. And mm -hmm. he has those weird androids with their hockey masks on, like with shiny, a cape. really shiny. Hockey masks. Yeah, like with a cape. Yes, like, with well, a Darth Vader cape. We, we've initially thought from the back that they were like yeah. Darth Vader's, like six Darth Vader's. Really Vader. like Darth Vader. Like, yeah. Why did it have the cape? It was just for the yeah. looks. Yes, just, like, yes. We had a, a lot of extra Like he made them around. and yeah. he had them dressed and he thought, no, the, that's not cool the, enough. The Let's crew, add the crew, some. The crew definitely... Somebody had to sue those <laughs> those cloaks. Like Maximilian. Oh, we didn't introduce Maximilian. Yes, Reinhardt has a henchman, a huge robot called Max. Ma Maximilian. Maximilian, which is just a huge brute. He's dark red with a red visor like he's the most menacing of all the robots yeah and his most important tool is that thing that yeah he has like <laughs> a two big mixer hands basically for weapons he also has laser guns but he has two mixers for some reason for some reason he has two it mixers. looks like he wants to like mix the flour and the eggs and the milk yes <laughs> yes yeah like he's like a <laughs> <laughs> or or he's like trimming the hedges basically that's what he looks like or grabbing someone's boobs really fast oh like yeah, yeah, a yeah, 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 lady, yeah 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 like, like a 12 year old who's like <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna have to touch my first real boobs Woo! <laughs> <laughs> just yeah just overexcited and it, it was it was weird to me that he had like laser guns and yes people were really cool about that and then we when he had those tools that are just basically like yeah. They yeah. just rotate Hedge fast. Trimmers. Everyone Hedge was trimmers. freaking out. Oh, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. Not that weapon. Oh, yeah. What is it going to do to you? Make you a cake? Like, what? Because those laser guns are really effective. <laughs> like, though, because yeah. they shoot fucking huge holes into robots. <laughs> and he just, he shoots lasers, yeah. which are way more strong and yeah. way more fast. And then when he switches, that doesn't work, he switches, he switches to the to switch the, to the to the rotor blades. Small weapons. Yeah, like it's that. so weird. It, uh, that doesn't do anything. Fuck this just movie. Takes five minutes to get to the yeah. enemy. Yeah, like. because he's hovering, he's not walking. I they guess, freak out I so much. I guess that's actually a really smart choice from a from a budget standpoint, because mm. animating a robot back then to properly walk, either to build that hugely expensive because yeah. you need a bunch of models for different situations yeah, yeah. or you make it stop motion which looks shitty so making them hover is actually really smart from that standpoint and it's a sci-fi in the 70s you gotta yeah. have something hover yes like, yes uh, hovering is necessary that's hover, true yeah, that's like. true yeah okay <laughs> so so they cre the crew of the palomino creeps around finds out a few things gets suspicious then they get invited by uh, Reinhardt for dinner <laughs> in a in the most luscious of all the places. So why did they get invited to the dinner? It was because one guy, one of them, got really influenced by the Reinhardt. Yes, he was really impressed. Yes, uh, and uh, Dr. Durand. Yeah, he or wanted Durand. to... Durant. Alex? His name was Alex, I ah, guess. Yeah, yeah. Yes, Durand. Yeah. He wanted to join Dr. Like Captain Reinhardt. Because and... he had some intriguing theories about the black hole mm. and everything. And he was like, I did science, uh, science stuff for like 20 years up here. Join me. <laughs> join me on <laughs> the dark side. I'm and totally they... not Darth Vader, yeah? I'm the emperor. Oh, yeah, that makes it totally... Yeah, he's the emperor. Uh, the, the, they are stormtroopers. <laughs> Maximilian is Darth Vader. Yeah. Boom! It's it's fucking Star Wars <laughs> from Disney from the seventies, <laughs> late seventies. I like the the invitation by Reinhardt. That's yes. a really funny scene. Like he creepily looks at Alex. Yes. Really creepily and yeah. 
maybe you want to join me for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> just five seconds of his creepy look. Oh, that was amazing. That and was really the, good. Uh, it's exactly like when a guy like seduces a girl and the girl is yeah. not getting what's happening. Yeah. The other captain was talking to Alex and he was like, no, are you sure you want to do it? He said, it's just a dinner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, what is that? Like, and he even answers, I think, with what 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 does that mean? Just a dinner. Yeah, just <laughs> what it, it's really funny. That scene is yeah, really funny. Because ah, <laughs> uh, if if this movie w- would be made today and get like got a really hard R rating, that would be a like a mass bang scene following that. Like just dinner and then like or just coffee and, in my suite and then Yep. Space sex. Because zero G sex is still really cool to animate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that was really creepy and <laughs> funny, you know, that imitation. Yes. But everyone went to dinner. Yes. He asked Alice. Yes. <laughs> he Everybody brought like, all cool, his friends cool, to the cool. date. <laughs> yes. Yeah, even some guards are standing there for some reason. And um, yeah, they, they, they just chill, hang out and talk about the future, basically. And... Mm. They um, split up, I guess. I, I just, it's what so happened like, after that uh, fucking? I mean, the the plot of this movie just <laughs> like yes, really? I'm, I'm 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 not sure what <laughs> happened afterwards. I'm I'm a bit confused because again, they change every three minutes. They change from one <laughs> scene to the next. Like, let's walk over here. Let's walk over here. I think I saw at least 12 different hallways yeah, in this just movie. Shows a scene just after two seconds, it goes back to somewhere else. And you're like, what the hell was that? Like, what happened there? And Captain Reinhardt, meanwhile, just blurs out like these sentences from like the point of view of a crazy scientist, yeah, man, mad man, villain. Yeah. Yeah, but a madman with a purpose, I guess. Yeah, like this Machiavellian quote, the yeah. end justifies the, the means. means. Yeah, <laughs> so funny, so yeah. funny. No, th- th- yeah, this, this, ah, fuck this movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <I> agreed. <laughs> yes, so something, some stuff happened, some more discoveries. Oh, uh, they find another robot too another of, of, of Vincent's kind. So Vincent yeah. is a really cute... We didn't mention. Vincent, yeah, really cute. Got- really cute. They definitely saw R2-D2 and were like, yep, yep we're gonna sh- copy that shit, <laughs> but we're gonna make him sarcastic like C-3PO. And do it much more cheaper. Like with oh, yeah, yeah, we don't eyes, have the budget to make him that cool. <laughs> so the robot is a... Si- like, is the... I don't know. You can't say sidekick. He's like one of the is main he's a crew five... Member. Yeah, yeah, he's a crew member. He's till the end. And his eyes are basically just two stickers. Yes. Like, so... Those googly big. eyes. Like, yeah, just... It, it was meant to, like, make him cute or something. I don't know. Make him kind of Disney-ish, maybe. Yeah, well, again, Disney movie. <laughs> yeah. So it totally... He is like... I would classify him as like a proto, proto BB-8. Proto um, um, BB-8 is the one from the, last, <coughs> from the last Star Wars movie. He's the rolling robot. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah and maybe. this one was already like ball-shaped kind of. Winston was kind of ball-shaped. But yeah. so let's go back to the plot. They find they find Bob. What yeah. is Bob again? Bio uh, organization. Toilet washing. Yeah, he's like basically that. the toilet robot. He doesn't say that he's... Shit the, collecting. Yeah, yeah he's the, basically the shit collector. And he's programmed in Houston. And that's why he has a southern accent. Sometimes, sometimes not. <laughs> but just, for the most part he keeps he, the southern accent he's like. probably one of the funniest things in this movie <laughs> yeah. this pushes it really close to comedy Bob is really funny yeah. and um, they have a shootout scene with the, with, the, with the other robots where they basically play laser tag yeah yeah and meanwhile that uh, like the older dude from the crew goes to the captain and says we should like manipulate this captain reinhardt and trick him or something and get back the ship to the earth and because he thinks he has the capabilities to turn the ship around and actually leave the gravitational pull of of uh the black hole 
Yeah, he mentions that he has invented some sort of energy source that yes, can like anti gravity. Like never explained it yeah. either how that really works or what it is or <laughs> yeah. how he found out that he could make it with the limited supplies on that yeah. given huge ship, but still yeah. limited resources. Yeah, like when you're on Earth, you have basically unlimited resources. <laughs> But when you're on a fucking spaceship in the middle of nowhere, that's not... Well, I guess a meteorite could come rolling in at any moment. Yeah. <laughs> so they do not really confront Reinhardt about the discoveries, but rather move to the ship and the scientist and the girl stay back. Yeah, I I don't know what they're... I just, they're There's so, some confusing shit going yeah, on in the like, next 10-15 minutes of that movie. Just, we don't know why they decide this shit. They just say something and they just go to the next scene and... Do yeah, because <laughs> they figure out that the crew is probably the androids. Oh, and let's mention the oh, yeah, robots. Because, because fucking Vincent has this telepathic communication thingy with... With a woman, with what, the woman. What's yeah. her name? Miss Kate or oh yeah something? right something yes. with Kate yes or? Kate Mac something yeah. because her father was Mac something mm -hmm. and I already forgot because I don't care because mm, her, her her character is fucking useless <laughs> for, except for the tele telepath. And she feels thing. stuff, you know. She's the yes. woman in the film. She needs to say, "Oh, I'm feeling." Yes, that, this that is, is a like, bad idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm feeling that we should get out of here. <laughs> She's but, always right, though. Uh, yeah. They shouldn't have gone she, on that yeah, ship. Yeah. They shouldn't have interacted with that guy. She was right when she said a thousand eyes were watching. <laughs> when she felt that a thousand eyes were watching, like she was right all the time. But nobody <laughs> gave a fuck because they're like, "Man, discovery." <laughs> let's there's like this huge creepy ship with nobody around let's check it out and they're so cool like the acting is horrible they're so cool all the time uh, like yes. so cool nobody's it's like face nothing happening except like, for except for f <coughs> old guy make 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 frank 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 yeah and uh, Harry, Captain Harry, Reinhardt Harry. does some acting too like yes the, the creepy eyes take some energy out yeah, of you yeah, like, yeah. he he like to constantly look the, that the, creepy the, the lines that he's given <laughs> he's really like he didn't <laughs> write those lines right the, I mean the like, writer just I think wrote uh, everything in like I don't know 15 minutes tops or something <laughs> like there's yes this was this was <laughs> either rewritten a bunch of times or just one draft and they were like yep yeah, looks fine it's one, one and a half hours long probably so let's do it because that's movie length, I guess. And they should they should have added like a half an hour to this movie to explain all the stuff, to really introduce everybody. Like make it like an alien esque entrance for yeah. the for, for the crew. Like have them travel for a bit so you yeah. really feel the distance in space and that you're alone in space. But no, they're going in like really yeah. hot, like, oh, there's the ship. What is it doing here? Alright, let's check it out. Let's do this. Oh, meteorites are coming. Oh, god. oh my god, let's flee the <laughs> ship. All right, let's do this. Like, there's no... There's, there's, I guess, two pauses in this movie. One where they check out the ship, the, the big ship, for like 15 seconds. Yeah. And the end scene, which was <laughs> trippy as hell. Like, <gasps> you should take some stuff to watch this. This is... This is Close to 2001 Space Odyssey, uh, like uh, the end of the movie. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, that, that. But let's not compare this. No, <laughs> movies no, again, no like not <laughs> compare it to Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece. Yeah, like, Definitely not. No, no, no. <laughs> this this movie is inferior in yeah. every regard, <laughs> except for funny robots, I guess. Yeah. Hell and Thousand wasn't really that funny. Uh, <laughs> I have to kill you, Dave. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that doesn't happen here. So you mentioned the shooting that the robots do do together. Like it's the calm scene basically. They're yes. having dinner. These yes. guys are doing the shooting. Yes. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So um, and then keep moving forward in the plot, I guess. No, but something really good happened here. Oh, that in oh, the no. shooting. Oh, okay. The yeah. robot exploded out of anger. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. He got shot in the heart. Yeah, and then he got... Like overloaded, I guess? It was just because of the oh, shots? Oh, was he? Like, I guess he was angry, too. Yeah, it was just... Yeah, yeah. 
and he laughed because he laughed before <laughs> oh in the God. in the in the shootout scene with, like in the in the laser tag scene to, just to clarify for you so guys. the artificial intelligence level in this robot is that he can't speak but yes. he can't only laugh but like, going a, <laughs> noise. and get that angry that he would die yeah. i don't know man like <laughs> just i'm feeling too much no <laughs> just yeah, yeah amazing like, Amazing, and and he he got angered by another robot too, <laughs> who's a sarcastic bastard. Let's let's leave it at that because Vincent is always always talking. He never stops, really. He he only stops when he fights against Maximilian, and that's only because Maximilian doesn't talk. Yeah, he can. Because we later on we have a showdown between Maximilian and Vincent after Maximilian kills Bob. And Ooh. Vincent is a philosopher robot. He just yes. says all these philosophical senses. Yes, yes. Yeah. You can't unstir what was scrambled that? eggs. You can't yeah. unscramble eggs. Yeah, yeah. And what? Well, yeah, and other stuff too. But yeah. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Vincent. He was funny though. Yeah, he was the thing that could like. Convince you to watch the end of the movie. Yes, like. yes, because you're like, hopefully there's a last sarcastic line at the end. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess he had one, but um, um, yeah. So, so um, Reinhardt finally feels that the the crew is probably gonna leave, and not help him out. Yeah. So he kills Durand. Yeah, but well, how Max, that scene was so weird. How Max, did that happen? Max, used his rotator arms to drill through the book that Durant held up as a shield and Durant thought yeah this paper book is gonna hold up that metal claw from a <laughs> death robot sure and it drills through it and then into into <laughs> Dr. Durant and he ki- dies immediately falls into some cables that explode for some- of course they explode of course the fucking cables and explode and no one cares everything, about his death everything explodes in this movie <laughs> yeah. all the robots explode like the heads explode, the chests explode, the legs explode, like parts of them explode, some of them walk still, then then the, the Maximilian explode. No, Maximilian exactly. doesn't explode. Doesn't explode, no, no, no. He gets drilled hard. No, but before that, like, yes. the, the girl goes to the, the goes to this guy, Doran, yeah. Doran, and he says, yeah. oh, don't go with Captain Reinhardt, that's yeah, he's dangerous. he's a mass murderer. I'm not gonna let you, like, waste your life, I'm not gonna let you die. And then when he dies, <laughs> every, like, no one cares about that dude. Mm. Everyone are so not even. Oh, oh my God! Nothing. Nobody's faced. Nobody's Just faced. Nothing. Yes. Yes. Oh and uh, <laughs> okay, so they try to flee. They wait for her, basically. Well, they kept. They go back for her, get her. The ones that they get pinned down by robots. Yeah. Um. Uh, the young scientist, what was his so, name? So, but while it's happening is yeah. that Reinhardt decides to enter the black hole. Just to start, yeah, yeah. because he doesn't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, all my plans so far have failed because I'm such a genius. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm a failed genius. Yeah, and he, yeah, he starts his engines up and starts to move into the black hole. And I thought, okay, bef- in the scene before, it only took them like, I don't know, 50 meters, 100 meters, and they already got dragged into the black hole. <laughs> this time, it takes 20 minutes, at yeah. least, at least to get the whole fucking ship into, into the black hole. And I'm like, yeah, that, that, that doesn't work at all. And, ah, this movie. Nothing uh, makes sense. Like, uh, this movie. Yeah, yeah because they flee... Um, oh yeah, fucking meteors hit <laughs> a huge swarm, which we already spotted at the beginning. But a huge of uh, flaming hot balls <laughs> come in, crash into the penis ship. <laughs> like a huge ton of balls keep rolling into that huge penis ship, smash everything. <laughs> they <laughs> they are in a depressurized garden zone at that but moment. But none of them like gets close to the crew member no. or gets cl- gets C- close but totally passes them yeah, by yeah totally in the Anna Jones scene where a few huge rolling media flaming hot rolling media why is it flaming hot why 
There's, there's, they don't have an energy source inside them to make them hot. And there's no friction their in space. Their speed is actually lower than these guys running. Yes, but <laughs> they, like, but it still could catch up with the spaceship. Yeah, like I what don't is know. this movie? <laughs> I don't know. They have this action scene just for the sake of, ooh, we need something even more scary than robots. What's the next best thing? Oh, instead of like. Uh, uh, Reinhardt being like here's my experimental robot or something <laughs> like that no they're fucking huge space balls ha huh, space balls get it uh, uh, coming in and and just fucking shit up yeah uh, they again they get pinned down now they get pinned down yeah first by um, Maximilian yeah and who then who destroys uh, Bob Bob, the the yes. other robot that looks like Vincent. Yes. The southern robot. The southern robot dies. <laughs> uh, or nearly dies. And yeah. then dies. And Bob is so angry. Uh, and Vincent is so angered with that. Yeah. I guess, and that Vincent he... holds him. Yes. Oh, and uh, one of the crew like betrays the rest of them. Yes. Wants to f- yes. Like go with the other Harry. Ship. Yeah. Harry. With... The old guy yeah. betrays them tries to flee with the ship, gets shut down, crashes into the bitch penis ship in the Cygnus. <laughs> the Cygnus, he doesn't care. Yeah. He keeps like, flying into the black hole. He just so got hit, hit it by... It has this message, if you betray oh, your friends, shit. you're going to get blown up. Right. So. so, oh, just for continuity's sake, the, the space balls happen after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess first he gets, he gets blown up and then these and guys. Then, yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, because they have to get to the probe ship, which is on the conveniently is on the other side of the yeah, huge sh- yeah. spaceship. So they have to go all the way back. That's why get, they get confronted by Max. Yeah. Uh, Vincent kills Max <laughs> by drilling into him with a big, huge <laughs> penis. Uh, Max is so stunned by this. It doesn't look like a fight. It looks like they're somehow doing something. Yes, because totally there's sexual, some overcharge like, effect like- or. Oh, it's green. Was it green? I think it was green. Those what electrical, is... those and things as his that legs, yeah, when like... Maximilian touches Vincent. It, yeah, there are like some, some green it, light seeds. And, and yeah. before he used his rolling balls that were With also green, green yeah. as magnets. So I guess he magnetized himself to stuck stick himself to um, Max. So ca- you, he has free range to drill him. Yeah, I think if you can't be so sexual. It's so sexual. It's so sexual because Max is at the same time is doing this weird that up down really movement funny. that you yeah. do when you do the cowgirl. It's like me 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 me, and that, then he just floats into space. That totally doesn't look like a fight scene at all. Like it, it started as a fight scene with the shootout yeah, and yeah. everything and the. F- Real fighting where they punched each other. Yeah. With Vincent holding Maximilian back so that the rest of the crew can get on the yes. other ship and run yes. or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. again, one of them drifts off into space <laughs> and <laughs> Vincent catches him in the last moment and the rest of the, the other two is like, meh, I don't care. Another guy again dies and Nearly they're dies. so Nearly cool dies. Cool Nearly about dies. About it. Oh, yeah, about Harry. Yeah, they, they just had one cruel note like, about him. What was it? Oh, the fools got what he deserved or something like that. Yeah, just, I don't know. Or like, betrayal doesn't last long. Something, something like yeah, that. They're yeah. like, oh, we worked with this guy for 10 years probably <laughs> and he died, but, and he was a coward, but eh, eh doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> So, and there was one all work and no play reference. We never yes, mentioned that. Yes, that was weird. Yes. You, you mentioned Space Odyssey and then... <laughs> yeah, and they meant another Kubrick movie. <laughs> oh, this know. movie. Oh. This movie. But, uh, yeah, don't worry about the continuity of the plot because the plot was, like, <laughs> already messed up. <laughs> yeah, so just to close this up, they, go, they get into the probe ship, the... They start, but Reinhardt programmed it just in case to also go into the black hole. Yeah. So they end up being fucked and going into the black hole where they have like a really trippy sequence. We're going to coming to that back later, I think, in cinematography. It's the LSD. Trip yeah, yeah. Totally because like... then there's hell where Max reigns as the devil over yes. the death of the crew members. 
and he, over the dead crew members and Reinhard then Reinhard, soul. Uh, Reinhard's soul is stuck in the Devil Max suit, but then he ascends through glass gates into heaven, his I, soul, I, and then they come out of the black hole again, where where they are like, yeah, okay, whatever, yeah. let's go home. And the, the next scene is they go, they go home. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, the thing about having black holes in your movie is that because no one knows what's happening inside and the theory nothing is basically happening, they should like make something up nope, and nope, like nope. Wake they shit. try to Wake like shit. yeah they Wake try shit. to just make something yep. smart yes. which <laughs> nope. which was just yeah. weird. Philo- yes, <laughs> what do kids more enjoy than philosophical science fiction with some murderous subplots? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, it has nothing. N- it had no meaning. You know what I mean? Like porn, I guess. They they wanted to make it look like you can just like get something out of it. it has yes. some meaning, but totally had no meaning at the end. He just didn't know how to finish it. I oh. don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, the the again the the happy end. I guess is that they are going back to Earth, having learned nothing and yeah. losing a crew member. It, the the black and hole killing, worked as a wormhole basically, just like transferred them to another place in the space, which didn't make any sense. It well, was a black hole. It was not a wormhole. No, they, it, it didn't transfer them to another space. They just no, went in and went out the same way again. They came out the same way. Yeah, not not another not, space. I mean, like just another position or something. Not which even is, that, I think. I'm not sure. They were I'm going not. back to Earth at the end, or yeah. not? What, what was? I, I just I, I don't, don't know. know. Yeah, me too. It doesn't. Ta- I think <laughs> no one knows. It's just something big, <coughs> so that you say, "Oh, a black hole." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, you had that really cool sequence at the beginning, yeah. and I think we're done with plot now. Yeah. Thank fucking finally, <laughs> and let's move on to cinematography. Yep. So. Um, <laughs> there were some amazing, amazing shots in this movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, agree. Like the special if for 1979, some of those that that stuff looked better than Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In some I regards, totally agree. in some some regards, some stuff actually looked better, and that it's uh, at least that what that's what I read about the movie. One of the things was um to shoot those composition shots where they had like mm-hmm. uh, something yeah. painted and then um, um, uh, something moving in the foreground like Maximilian in mm-hmm. one scene and then in the background you have other people moving mm-hmm. but it's actually a different shot mm-hmm. that's actually made possible by a special camera setup apparently that they wanted to rent out from the Star Wars crew mm-hmm. but it was too expensive so they developed their own which was better yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and it is it is all made in house. Like yeah. all the special effects, everything. No, no outsourcing to like industrial light and magic. What people do nowadays to do the special effects or anything. Everything was made inside the Disney Studios. It was definitely the best thing in this movie. Yes, it, With, it yeah. looked gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. had at the beginning was like I wrote it down that this fish eye shot mm. where they scanned through the crew of the Palomino, and that looked amazing yeah. I would really like to see that on the big screen yeah yeah and as a Disney movie it's totally like interesting for yes. like younger oh, yes. people yeah. to watch that to those shots from the space from the black yes. hole itself that yeah, was really it good gives, again if they gave the shots more time yeah. and made this movie again half an hour longer yeah. I would have it would have ha- added so much more to the weight of those shots and yeah. how it feels like because then it would be like Space Odyssey where it's like this, those glorious this Space Odyssey would be a boring movie if those shots weren't really interesting and perfectly framed and yeah. they put a lot of work into this, into this movie <laughs> they put a lot of work in this black hole yeah. <laughs> yeah. definitely but it fucks it all up with plot and everything else <laughs> With the acting, oh yes, my god, oh yes, my god. Yes, yes, <laughs> But yeah, there, there's, there's some gorgeous, gorgeous cinematography. And the special effects aren't bad either. Like, yeah, I, at I the agree. At the beginning, like, the, the 3D model of the black hole. 
That you, was cool too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that looked like, like some Tron shit right there. Yeah. Or I said it was from the Simpsons episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, yeah, Homer switches into the third dimension. <laughs> yeah. And he gets sucked into a black hole that spits him out in real life. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that's what happened. Oh my God. Yes, that looked really cool. Um, you said that, uh, what was it? Uh, you you really liked the... the, the uh, shot from, f- from the ship where the the engine started yeah and it yeah had like, those flickering lights yeah there were lots of like cool shots yeah from the spaceship from the black hole yeah. both of them the view when when one ship was just taken off and yeah. like the shot was from behind it oh yeah you could see the three lights that are just the oh, engines yeah. where they're oh, igniting yeah. that was cool yeah yeah, yeah and um uh, there was something else you mentioned during watching the movie about um, what was it? Ah, oh, god damn it! <laughs> you're you're going through your notes here. right yeah, now. Like I have a lot yeah. of things. I don't know what exactly. Um, but yeah, uh, oh, the the laser shots look pretty convincing. Yeah. And yeah. they always, when they hit, it exploded something off of the robots. Yeah. Um, but I guess we already saw it kind of in Star Wars, so. It's expected for the time. Yeah, anytime you see these uh, like lasery shots, you think of Star Wars. Like yes, so, yes. So like oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. And they're <laughs> shooting again at kind of robot sta- stormtroopers. Yeah. Oh no, they basically predicted the prequels of uh, Star Wars, where they're, they're just those android armies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe uh, I don't know. You meant what I said about that they changed the storyline for the shots something like oh, that oh like, yeah yeah it's definitely. sometimes it, it was like it we are not seeing this because it's more into the story we just want to see these shots that's yeah, it yeah, yeah. Like, and all the practical effects yeah, or something like, like that for example there's this uh, yeah exactly where where they move through this tube to yeah. the transport inner transport system that is an auto transport system on yeah. the huge ship and the metroid is just coming towards oh yeah it's them. a metroid it's they're basically. running in front of it yes. and the scene is really cool so unrealistic but yeah. really cool like there's yeah, yeah. no way yeah and the, oh yeah the the, the, the meteorites looked yeah, yeah. amazing for the time yeah. really cool stuff the yeah. black hole looked really good i thought like that the the, the, the sequence where they go through the black hole and it's all red. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. It looked like the the color switch, the sequence from Stargate. Yeah, yeah, But it maybe, still yeah. looked better than Stargate. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. This movie I, I get is what you're thirty saying. years <laughs> older than Stargate, but still looks better than Stargate. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. 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 I get and what and you're then saying. you had that really cool tracking shot uh, with hell. Yeah, that's hell. A, and when they're in the crew again, they are going the into hell. Oh, yeah. They're in hell. <laughs> What's this that? movie goes to hell. <laughs> it can go to hell, but it actually went to hell. But uh, do you remember movie. at the beginning, one of the crew said that whenever I think of one of these black holes, I think of a guy in with a red suit and like oh a, yeah, pitchfork. Yeah, yeah pitchfork. So it, it was kind of oh, referring to the devil. Yeah, nice. that's good writing. That's yeah. good writing, I guess, for for a shitty movie. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. But when they're in the black hole, it was not also that bad too. It was like kind of the, as you said, trippy thing. Yes. Just like, yeah, they, I, they, again, they totally stole that sequence. But I mean, too stole. much rotating, you kind of get they, nauseous they, if you watch yeah, it too they, much. They, they, <laughs> where, where it distorted the images and, and lengthened them. Yeah. Exactly, nearly exactly the same thing happened in uh, 2001 oh, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. So... Ah, it's a shortened version, I guess. It's mm. it's a bit different, definitely different because they went to hell and okay. back. Yeah. So when do we talk about that red suit? Oh, just please. Oh, that's coming later. <laughs> that's coming later. Uh, oh wait, which red suit? Oh, yeah. I guess we can have that in cinematography because it's something visual. I guess because Reinhard Hans <laughs> Hans has a very nice dress. Yeah, he 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 dresses like a gentleman. He he does dress good. Like this he, he's dude, well, he's well dressed. invites them to dinner, and then yeah. he shows up with a red suit. Everything is red. What well, well, is very? I guess it would be crimson. So I have a I question. I think it's crimson colored. Even his pants. Are I have a very important colored. question. Yeah. Did he have it twenty five years ago from the Earth, or had it made twenty five right. years later in a spaceship? Right. I want because, a red because a twi- suit. Twi- because a twenty five year old suit doesn't look that good. I guess <laughs> if you. 
Or is it a special suit that he's like, oh, I'm for this is my dinner suit. I, 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 like, I didn't wear it for the last 25 years because I, I didn't have any people <laughs> around me. So I didn't have to break out my nice suit. I don't know. This is a really good question. Like, but because it was red, I'm guessing that the rope because the robots are also red yeah. that the red robots made him a red suit i i don't he made a field for food in his spaceship and then he finished and it was like oh my god i need new clothes so yeah, the emperor's new clothes <laughs> make it, me a oh, red if, suit if he was naked that would have been hilarious <laughs> like, but yes <laughs> yes He's, that suit yeah, was great. That, that, that red suit was... That was my favorite thing from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, we're coming to that <laughs> later on. But first, uh, let's move on to... Uh, where, where did I put my pen? God damn it. Oh, I'm Keep, sorry. Oh, thank you. Uh, let's move on to sounds. Sounds. Yes. So... First of all, this is, again one of the last two movies to have an overture mm -hmm. comp uh, composition made for the movie itself <coughs> at the beginning of the movie you have this magnificent score building up mm -hmm. as you see the space the penis spaceship penis slash hairdryer <laughs> spaceship it's it's a hairdryer but with balls <laughs> That's what it looks like at the beginning. You later find out there's a third ball, but it's kind of behind the ship. Yeah. Why is it off? Well, I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. But yeah, we, we have this magnificent score building up and everything. And I thought that was... that was it, The soundtrack... The, the, they didn't use it right? <laughs> it's but like they it, had a bunch of good songs. They didn't know the, what to the, do with the, them. The, the, every single composition was really well done really well done it sometimes sounded like star wars <laughs> no except for the fight scene like yeah no no the, the music was still good it just totally it just didn't, didn't fit. go with the scene like yes. they were totally fighting instead of a fighting scene song it was like it was, happy music it was like national anthem yes. song what was yes. that like <laughs> oh can you see <laughs> that was, na, 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 na. Like, you knew that they're gonna succeed because of the song yes. like you have to wait until they succeed then you play that song oh like, yeah 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 nope nope yeah. nope just nope. used it in that oh I guess the editor just fucked up and nobody <laughs> noticed that was really he's like, bad he's like at the, at the grand screening of the movie he's like oh fuck I left that in oh shit and nobody noticed and he's like I'm not gonna tell anybody. We already screened the fucking movie. We're not but the beginning and the in ending score were good. I agree. Like mm -hmm. they were, they were. And worked. the laser effects were cool. Yeah. The pew 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 noises were yeah. pretty cool. Um, I don't know. It it falls also into the trappings of any nearly any science fiction movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have sound in space. Mm. You have you have <laughs> weird sound effects sometimes, like bloop 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 songs yeah uh you they gave the the shit robot the shit cleaning <laughs> robot the toilet robot the toilet robot got an uh, again he was from houston again he was from houston which oh that poor <laughs> robot like the guy who I'm had not to gonna survive yeah, yeehaw! <laughs> yeah that was the only thing that he didn't say was yeehaw Everything else was like, I'm gonna buy me some ribs and have some really delicious sauce and some cool iced tea. Yeah. Basically that. He was like a southern red... He was actually red, so calling him a redneck robot, totally not offensive. <laughs> yeah. Because he actually was a physical redneck robot. Um, and you also mentioned the ending is store. There's this back sound in the beats like oh yeah the digitally yeah. thing yes of. because this is also the first completely digitally recorded soundtrack mm -hmm. too so i guess they threw in some cool space noises <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> into there and it was like so beep, 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 beep. No, it wasn't well, that bad it was yeah, so subtle yeah like, it was yeah. super subtle like yeah. really Small, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> uh, but there was a grand, grand swelling music yes. in front of that, so yeah. it didn't really 
I, I noticed it, but I didn't wasn't yeah. like angry about it. I was yeah. like, oh, this is cute. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you could hear because that's an issue with some mu- movies, especially from that time. You could to, to, could totally understand everybody. Mm-hmm. They were totally audible. Nowhere, it didn't matter where in the room they were. Yeah. You could always hear them, which was really nice. Mm-hmm. I'm guessing I didn't really notice it, but either they did some really really nice ADR, which is just you know after shooting the movie, mm-hmm. recording some additional. Uh, it's also okay. called dubbing, I guess. Ah, oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But ADR is the method of mm-hmm. like talking over yourself. So you actually say what you have to say instead yeah, of the yeah, recording okay. at the time yeah, of the yeah, movie, yeah, yeah, shooting the movie, which was fucked up or yeah. something was changed or something like that. So I didn't notice anything like that. Yeah. That was really well done. And also the robots were cool. Again, their noise, uh, the voices went like, I'm a robot. They didn't no, sound yeah, like, like, I'm a robot. They were yeah, Just real. two robots talked. Yeah, the rest of them didn't talk, basically. But the two that did, <laughs> they well, were cool. <laughs> there was the laughing noise of the black robot. Oh, yeah. That oh, was shit, also. the black robot died. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, no, but yeah, but still, it is the truth that the black robot dies first. Yeah, I, I don't know. He's the first one to get <laughs> shot and explode. <laughs> from all the robots he died from anger I still that yeah. still looks like he yeah. died from anger the emotional <laughs> robot dies first I guess the level of un- artificial intelligence on, on these robots uh, we don't know that oh like, yeah again d- no clue do they have consciousness I uh, no idea I'm apparently they can Winston, die out of Winston anger and Bob have consciousness because mm. they are too sarcastic to not be yeah or, or just you know witty I guess uh, to be to be not be robots but yeah the sound in general like the cinema- cinematography yeah. really good I think it's really the plot that really fucks with this movie and acting and uh, yes yes <laughs> and acting that but was... let's move on to best moments okay so not your favorite moment but what you regarded as like the best moment of the movie that that embodies it like as if you p- would p- pick it as like an eight second gif mm-hmm. that you would show to somebody or an eight second YouTube clip um, with sound. If I would sound. probably choose it from the beginning of the movie, actually. OK, there were All the right. cool shots, the yeah. cool shots from the ship yeah. and the black hole. I would right. choose that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, for me, my best moment was. <laughs> When Reinhardt noticed way too late that he failed, <laughs> and he's like, "Prepare the p- drone ship." Maximilian goes into the lift. He gets crushed by a, like Reinhardt gets crushed by a Something, huge yeah. plate of of metal and rubble, and he's like, "Uh, next, don't leave me." And Max is just turning around in the lift in the in the elevator, and the elevator is closed, and he's like, "Max, help me." And Max is like, fuck you! Basically, the only thing that was left that he had like two extra robot arms with two middle yeah. fingers that <laughs> extend out and they're like, fuck you, yeah. dude, because I can't talk. Like, beep, beep, beep. And then he went up. But that was my best moment because it was like, oh yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm failing and the one robot that I trust betrays me. <laughs> yeah. Also, he's a robot. But also, why when- doesn't he obey his orders? <laughs> what shitty program did he use? I have no idea. All these robots are apparently so conscious. Yes. Like, they, they know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. I don't know. Why is Max still trying to kill them after he knows that Reinhardt is dead? He would be like, beep, beep, beep. I'm not killing anymore. I'm, I'm done with that or something like that. Nope. He still attacks them too. Yeah. Fuck you, Reinhardt. Uh, yeah. I'm going now. <laughs> yes, and I'm also killing all the other humans because <laughs> fuck them too. Yeah. Yeah, that ah oh, yeah, but that was my best moment yeah. was when, when the the elevator door shut and he's like, No Max and Max is like I can't talk and I won't move. But I I also liked when the meteor car was coming and they were running in front of it. Oh, that was also oh, really so good. Like, ironically, I would choose that also oh, uh, that as one of the best moments. Because they all tripped. Yeah, all like of all the- three of them. And somehow that meteor just didn't... Like, roll in uh, enough, yeah, fast enough. And they still got up, up all three of them. 
to clear the bridge <laughs> and that one got crushed. Also, a huge meteor rolls yeah. in and your spaceship. And that really looks like, a, have you seen Melancholia? La- Lars von Terrier. That really Lars looks von like... Lars von yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yes. That really looks like the ending shot from Melancholia. Right. When it's getting so close to yeah. the Earth. Which is an amazing shot. But yeah, that kind of reminded oh. me of that, so... Yeah. yeah. That was a, a good moment, yeah. Yeah. So you would... Well, well, so yes, definitely. What would you pick as your best moment at the beginning, really? Or no, this one. Yeah, this one. Yeah, one. I'm gonna pick this one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it is a fucking funny movie. Yeah, yeah. When I'm you gonna think pick this when one. you're not too serious about it, that's the thing. You have to be serious enough about sci-fi, yeah. but on the other side, also be not serious enough about it. Like you have to laugh about your own. Yeah, not look at it as a like good movie. No, now, because no, no, then no, no, you would kill no, no, yourself no, 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 like no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> this is a cheesy as hell movie, <laughs> yeah. and that's why we're moving on to the secret category, yeah. which is quotes, testing space adventures. <laughs> because there are some really good quotes in this movie. Yeah. And I just want to hear some of some 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 of them. Um, from you that that you thought was were really good, uh, yeah, that the one from um, The Shining. Yeah, all work and, and no, no play. play. That was really yeah, cool. That, yeah. that was a really good space quote. A space uh, quote, yeah. And uh, basically everything that Vince, Vincent well, Vincent said that uh, yes. was all philosophical. Bob, Bob, Bob had some good quotes. Like, but, yeehaw, chicken yeah, like, and fries <laughs> making good day nice, or something like that. I don't know why he w- turned into a Borat <laughs> at the end. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Um, then, um, what was it? Uh, the, the, the there was this quote uh, from like Vincent that was like, there are won'ts, can'ts, and... Oh, yeah, that no, like no, there, there, there are only three types. Three types. The won'ts, the can'ts, and the... No, no, the can'ts were the last. The can'ts, the, the one that never do anything. Yes, the won'ts are those that uh, can have the means... Oh, oh God I damn it, what is the three, third group? So it's basically those that are not able to do it because they don't want to do it, those that are not capable to do it because they don't have the means to do it, and those who are not capable of doing anything. No, basically don't do shit. That's, yes, that was something like yes, that. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. That was really good. I, yeah. I, I, that would be great on a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like an, in, that would be like a really... But I don't think that's that original, a, is it? No, it's a, it's a famous know. saying, I think. It would be a great inspirational yeah. quote on yeah. a book. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like a book title with that under yeah. written under it, and you're like selling like hotcakes with yeah. that. Um, I don't even know what hotcakes. Like oh. I guess are they hot cakes and cakes are fresh mm. when you're hot. I don't know. Um, yeah. It, it would be good for these pictures on Facebook people share. Yeah. Like no one gets inspired by them. By people <laughs> somehow <laughs> think that they're so inspiring. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like be yes. happy. Yes. Like yes. don't judge. Then I, <laughs> I guess like, I guess I guess <laughs> Reinhardt had some some good quotes. Yeah, he said like impossible is just for the fools. Oh yes, no, it's a it's a oh. word in the dictionary of, of fools. the fools. Yeah. Yes, that was amazing. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was awesome. that was. R- also very well delivered <laughs> really yeah. well done <laughs> no no Hans Reinhardt also Maximilian Schell the, the actor really pulls one out of his ass with um, that and one. we mentioned Reinhardt's Maximilian quotes um, like oh yeah the, 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 the ends justify the, the means, means. yes yeah. because he did kill like his whole crew and turned them into slave androids yeah, humanoids or something a kind of humanoid yeah, yeah and android basically yeah, well yeah. it's a weird like zombies but working zombies who don't bite people <laughs> yeah ah, it's so weird yeah, they, yeah. They're, they're there was cla- not enough explanation clarification yes. about that then yeah. uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what else was there oh yes yes um uh, uh, bob when he's in the in the when they are in the wormhole, everybody says something that means something to himself. 
<laughs> like repeat the in their heads and Bob is just I'm the best I'm Vincent the best. not Vincent. Bob Vincent Vincent is like I'm the best I'm, I'm the, the best. best 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 and best. when Bob is dying he says to Vincent yes. that keep on the tradition yes I'm like yes. what <laughs> what yes. tradition we are the like, best after all we are like. the best after all yeah. keep on the tradition should, like yeah. keep on the tradition like, yes <laughs> we are <laughs> we are good American folks that like to do the I don't know why I'm doing the Bill Cosby voice but I'm doing the kill Bill Cosby voice Jesus don't don't do that. Burp, 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 burp. you know what's in the drink happiness <laughs> <laughs> and a good night's sleep okay uh, look at my sweater <laughs> all right uh, <laughs> okay. Oh my god, yes. So there were some really good quotes in this movie. Yeah, like cheesy but cool. Yeah, cheesy but cool. Yeah, yeah no, that's that's how I would, I guess, describe the whole movie. Cheesy yeah, but cool. Really. Because there are some cool special effects. Some, okay, let's do this. Let's, yeah. let's go to final conclusion. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> because, yes, it is cheesy as fuck. Um, but there are amazing cinematography mm. amazing spe- uh, for the time amazing yeah. special effects some of them even look amazing today mm. you have you have two decent actors and two decent robots <laughs> yeah um, I could say that the, the, the production design sometimes is amazing sometimes eh, like the eyes for Vincent you you said they're like googly eyes yeah. basically so that wasn't that good but considering all of it and that it is a Disney production with, with not that huge of a budget actually let me just look up the budget because mm-hmm. I really I really want to know how much mm-hmm. this money first of all made and also cost because mm-hmm. I have the feeling that it was really expensive <laughs> but uh, cinematography comparing to everything else was just with a very like oh, yeah, large a big, difference yes, much better yes. yeah yeah it is better. the standout in the whole yeah. thing and I guess the music if you just buy the soundtrack yeah. if you just would buy the soundtrack yeah, yeah, and listen to it on its own yeah. that's a good just great musical pieces but it's kind of a shame that they would cast this woman that doesn't play at all like there's no they should, they should have given her lines <laughs> no, or any chance you to mentioned act. something really funny when they're going down the black hole the two dudes are totally like stuck to their seats yes. and can feel they're going down but the woman is so casual yeah, she's, she's super just like relaxed. yeah we're in a bus we are 10 yeah. minutes late <laughs> Where are we? Why yeah. aren't we getting yeah. to this? She's There's a really <laughs> huge difference fuck? between people who really want to be in this movie <laughs> and people who want to be don't want to be in this movie but act anyways, <laughs> like Maximilian Schell. You're being pulled down to a black and, hole. And there just are people who don't give a fuck, and that's that woman. <laughs> that woman doesn't give a fuck. But again, he doesn't. She doesn't get any good lines. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't. She doesn't get any agency basically in this movie, except for talking to the goddamn yeah. robot. <laughs> That's her job is being Skype. Yes. Yeah, That's her job. Like that. And so, so black hole. Okay, so in nineteen seventy nine dollars, it was twenty million dollars, which was a, a rather large budget yeah, back then but considering all the special effects and everything like that it's it's an okay price for this kind of movie i guess 20 million mm-hmm. is expensive though and mm-hmm. especially because it's only 98 minutes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like for 20 million bucks back then mm-hmm. you at least two again two hours i guess there's maybe there's a lot of material like a left on the cutting room floor that never made it into the movie maybe like, yeah. yeah and it made 35.8 million dollars so it actually was a successful movie back then I guess yeah probably. If, if there wasn't anything else to do <laughs> and they're like it still has sweet sweet Star Wars like special effects so let's watch it <laughs> yeah. I guess that was the rationale back then like there's no f- nothing else around yeah. 1979 yeah. there's not even HBO I think at no it was point. just uh, it's 
it would it was bad writing with a really good cinematography. So if the writing yes. was a little bit better, yes. like or the, the direction. Well, yeah, I guess like, the direction. Yeah, they they should have cut down on how often they switch between scenes. Yeah, like cut like, down half of the scenes, make yeah. them longer, yeah. and make them more intriguing and and yeah. and, and don't just. It's like an, a kid with ADHD yeah. that is like, no, move on to the next thing. Move yeah. on to the next thing. Oh, I can't wait. Can't wait. Move on to the next thing. Yeah, it's Something. like he wants to have a lot of stuff happening at the same time have these amazing shots. But yes. if you, like Gravity, the movie, yes. like it's the plot is very simple. It yes. just focuses on these shots and it yeah. works. It yes. fucking works. Yes. And, but, yeah, it builds yeah. up intrigue and, and, and yeah. suspense and everything. Yeah. And this, this movie fails at that, sadly, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Um, but still, very enjoyable. Would uh, yes? Would you recommend this movie? Would you watch it again? Maybe with friends? Would you make it into a drinking game? Perhaps every time Vincent says something sarcastic, take a shot. Which is you're gonna be dead at minute fifteen. I wish I talk about I talked about you about this. <laughs> Do I have to say yes or can I say no? You, like you can you say no. <laughs> If you, if you wouldn't recommend this movie, then you 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 don't recommend the movie. This is this is after all some you have still. I have wouldn't your, get my give my stamp on it. You wouldn't. Like. Give, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I I'm a science fiction fan. Yeah. This is a really good movie in in regards to the special effects and if all i that. were in that, those times though yeah. i would recommend it you know oh yeah I mean? in like, 1979 now, yeah okay. if, I, if it was those times yeah. i would probably but now okay no. in, okay like, if it, it okay different approach if it was on netflix and you had nothing else to watch <laughs> <laughs> like all the seasons of orange is the new black already watched them twice because of course <laughs> And then you're like, ah, Game of Thrones, I'm yeah. not done with that. And then you're like, ah, oh, yeah, it's I on Netflix. I want to see sci-fi shit. I've yeah. seen all the Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay, watch under this what one. circumstances? Let's ask differently. Like, yeah. like ask a, not a specific, but a broad question. Okay. Uh, under which circumstances would you watch this movie again? That I'm dead high. <laughs> like, oh, okay. I can't even right. talk. All right, like, okay, yeah. all right. <laughs> yeah. some, some nice bong rips. And <laughs> yeah, then you're of like, course, Dude, yeah. Bob is awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would get crazy high and then try it. Okay. If I want to try right. it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's oh that's a definitely a recommendation of mine as well. <laughs> Just for the enhancement of the joy that this movie is gonna bring you. Because again, this is a crazy ass movie. But yeah You can laugh at it. Yes, you can you can laugh at it. You can laugh with it, I guess, <laughs> at some parts. Um, and yeah, just enjoy the ride. It's not a long movie, one and a half mm. hours. It's, yeah. it's 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 over quickly. So yeah, um, I guess all I have to say. Yes, plugs. Asa, where where can do you have some online presence or a Twitter account or something where people mm. can follow you? <laughs> I'm just on Facebook. Okay. It's uh, Azar me. Is that your, your, your stage Facebook or your private? Uh, it's private. I don't have a stage Facebook because uh, okay. why would I? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, no. So. no, I just tried comedy once, stand up okay. comedy. I may try it again. I don't know. Yes, but no. try it again. Um, Keep working on it. Make it, thank you. <laughs> make it work, 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 work. You're going to work, work, uh, work. No, work, but just work. a private <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, so nothing yet. But if something shows up... And no, but it doesn't mean that people shouldn't add me. Okay, I, I all right. I mean private as in like private, private. Okay, like, all right. Yeah. So I'm going to put your link down in the description below. Mm. People, check her out. Um, send her a message if you want to, <laughs> that she should do more comedy. Um, and because she is hilarious. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> and uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. It was a blast. Uh um, I hope I'm gonna have you back maybe in a future episode thank you sure yeah I had fun too okay yeah. great I had fun cool. too <laughs> <laughs> I had fun too that, yeah that was really it sounded really <laughs> well with the face it sounded really sarcastic because your, wo your voice was really happy but your face was like oh fuck you dude <laughs> Yeah, but thank you for being here. Um, thank you for listening in, guys. I hope we're going to have you back the next time when FFP is going to release the 31st episode. We are, I hope we're going to be 
uh, before summer really summer kicks off we're gonna crack down on 50 but we'll see um, we might go back to a one week release schedule and bring out a, a, a second show for the YouTube channel but mm -hmm. you guys hang on for that and we will see you on the next FFP bye bye